Some of us were born here in these mountains Some came from places far away Really it doesn't matter where we started Up to higher ground we found our way Up here in the summit we will stay Hi, I'm Leon Joseph Littlebird, and on behalf of the Summit Musicians Relief Fund, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Smurf Cares Concert Series. Smurf is a 501c3 nonprofit in Summit County, Colorado, established to assist local musicians in their time of need due to illness or financial hardship. When the global pandemic shut down live entertainment, all musicians whose income came from performing were suddenly out of work. So we created the Smurf Cares Concert Series, providing great paying live performances and professional videos for our talented local musicians. Smurf relies on the generous donations from the community at our annual benefit concerts and fundraisers, as well as the sponsorships and grants from local townships, foundations, and local businesses. We especially want to thank Lake Dillon Theater Company, Silverthorne Performing Arts Center, the Town of Silverthorne, the Summit Foundation, Sauce on the Blue, Affordable Music, and Crystal 93 for making the Smurf Cares Concert Series possible. You too can help Smurf help musicians in need by donating on our website, thesmurf.org, on Venmo, on our Patreon site, and please hit the subscribe button here on our YouTube channel. Smurf helps those in need. Thank you very much. You might hear a fiddle or a banjo, mandolins and picking sweet guitars. Voices like angels on the streets or in the bars. Local players are our favorite stars. Welcome to the Smurf Cares Concert Series. Woohoo! All right. Great yeah. to have you here. We want to thank our many generous and numerous sponsors that helped make this possible, especially today's local sponsor, the Mountain Lion Cafe. Thank right. you so much. You're here. Well, it's my great pleasure to introduce someone who's been around Summit County for. 347 years? Some, yeah, about half thought, of your yeah, about, time, yeah, sir. About half as long as I've been here. Let's really hear a great, beautiful welcome for our good friend and brother, Randall McKinnon. All right, Leon. Thank you so much. I, you know, before I start making too much noise, I want to say thank you to Smurf for the Summit Musicians Relief Fund. Uh, for having these this whole series of events. I, I look at a who's who's list of Summit County players that have shown up at these things, and Leon's been running this thing. Steve Plummer's around somewhere. Dustin Schaefer over here is doing the video stuff. Tom Fricky's taking photos. Uh, they've had quite the, quite the operation going on. Crystal 93 has, has supported this with some on-air interviews. I guess I'll be doing one of those one of these days, but uh, we'll figure all that out. All right, but you know, folks, I have been playing music, as Lee, I suggested, for a little while up here. I think I've been doing, well, Dinner Slayer as a Keystone alone for about the last 28 years, uh, if you don't count this year, because this year hasn't happened. But uh, I've been doing this for a while, and one of the things that happens when you've been playing music in a place as long as I have is you, you start to get that sense of place. And the songs that I sing are about these mountains that surround us. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a beautiful place to be, and hopefully the songs are, hold their own, too. I'm going to start off with an a old Merle Haggard tune called Colorado, which is kind of that place where I just kind of sat down 36 years ago. Let me raise this a notch. There we go. There's a place 
place where Mother Nature's got it all together. She knows just when to let wildflowers bloom. And somehow she always seems to know exactly what she's doing. The Lord saw fit to furnish elbow room. Have you ever been down to Colorado? I spend a lot of time there in my mind. And if God doesn't live in Colorado, I'll bet that's where he spends most of his time Love to be there watching Early in the morning when The sun comes up and crowns The mountain king And if by chance You dare to be there High upon the mountain I swear that you can hear the angels sing Have you ever been down to Colorado? I spend a lot of time there in my mind And if God doesn't live Colorado I'll bet that's where he spends most of his time I'll bet that's where he spends most of his time There we go, all right Yeah well, I mentioned that I played for a long time at Keystone. Another one of my very, very favorite venues that I get to play is the Next Page Bookstore over in Frisco. And uh, I've been, I guess it's eight years or so, Lisa. Yeah. Uh, I've been, been playing there and uh, usually hold forth on Wednesdays when uh, things like pandemics allow that to happen. Uh, some, last summer, I was able to be out in front of the store, and we'll be doing some more of that again this summer. So uh, mark your calendars, folks. Just Wednesday, just come on over to the next page, and I'll be there about uh, four to six or something like that. Anyway, one of the folks that used to hang out there with me when I'd play music was a fellow named Rick Williams. And uh, Rick was, had whole folders full of song lyrics that he's written through the years, and he handed this one to me. It's called Daydreaming of Frisco. And uh, I'm going to sing it for you right now. But Rick wrote this. He was a, a safety engineer, I guess, working in the aluminum industry. And they moved him to New York City after he and Cindy had spent some time here in, in Frisco. And uh, so he was looking at his window at an office in, in, in New York City when he came up with these lyrics. The song goes like this. Looking out my window at the people in the rain Daydreaming of Frisco, can't wait to get back again Always in a hurry while they're rushing everywhere Daydreaming of Frisco and a pace I'd like to share When the sun climbs over the great divide and the ones you love are by your side The morning air is crisp and clear The snow-capped peaks seem oh so near I know soon I'll make it so Daydreaming of Frisco The city's not that bad Many great things to do and see I'm daydreaming of Frisco, it's where I want to be I'm glad to have lived here, this is a very special place But I'm 
Daydreaming of Frisco and all the open space When the sun climbs over the great divide And the ones you love are by your side The morning air is crisp and clear The snow-capped peaks seem oh so near I know soon I'll make it so Daydreaming of Frisco Soon I'll make it so Daydreaming of Frisco Frisco, Colorado You know, when I sing these songs about uh, place, you know, I, I think I'm going to, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. A song called Me and the Eagle. Some of you might be old enough to remember the movie The Horse Whisperer. Uh, this is a song from that soundtrack that uh, Steve Earle wrote. And again, it's just kind of a mountain man theme. Folks, when you look like this, you, you sing mountain man kind of tunes. It works out pretty good that way. Eagle looked down on the river below. Then he wrapped his wings round him and he fell like a stone. And the big salmon fought, but the talons held true. And he shuddered as the world turned from silver to blue I stood there in awe Though I'd seen it before I was born in these mountains and I'll die here for sure I traveled around and I've seen city lights But nothing that shines like the big sky at night Some mornings will find me up above the timber line Lonesome don't seem like much once you're this high But when it's all said and done I usually find that me and the eagle are of the same mind. Now, when I was young, I took me a wife. But she never took to this high country life So now I'm alone And I don't really mind But her name echoes down from the canyon sometimes Some mornings will find me up above the timber line Lonesome don't seem like much once you're this high But when it's all said and done I usually find That me and the eagle are of the same mind In my dreams there's a horse Stands eighteen hands high He's as white as the snow And there's fire in his eyes But it bear only me Though others have tried And together we'll travel up across the divide 
mornings will find me up above the timber line. Lonesome don't seem like much once you're this high. But when it's all said and done, I usually find that me and the eagle are of the same mind. Me and the eagle love of the same mind. Right. Thanks, folks. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you. You know, I've got to sneak a love song or two in here. That's just the way it goes. And this happens to be kind of a mountain man flavored love song. Uh, it's called Just to Hold You, written by a fellow named Ray Wiley Hubbard, who is uh, just about as gruff looking as I am. Oh, you know me, it's my reputation Some have called me a storm about to rage But if you'll take me and not forsake me Well, I'll hand to you my heart in a golden cage Cause I love you with reckless abandon And I've loved you like that from the start it's my good fortune just to know you Your eyes put a wildness in my heart Down from the mountains I come like thunder For I've lain too long where the cold rivers run Just to know you, just to flow with you just to grow with you and to reap and sow with you Just to hold you when your hair's undone Like a flash of lightning in the heavens Some lives light up the darkened sky There are others who fall and stumble Who hide their heart and the love denied But if you'll take me And not forsake me If you'll have me Just as I am I will love you Beyond forever And I'll place to you my heart Upon sacred ground Down from the mountains I come like thunder for I've lain too long where the cold rivers run Just to know you Just to flow with you Just to grow with you And to reap and sow with you Just to hold you when your hair's undone Now in the badlands I am an outlaw but I stand on the words of St. Paul Though I speak like angels And gain the whole world If I don't have love I have nothing at all But if I displease you You don't want me Well I still wish you love for love is blessed We can take nothing greater Upon our journey Rest assured, we need take nothing less Down from the mountains, come like thunder Where I've lain too long where the cold rivers run Just to know you, just to flow with you Just to grow with you and to reap and sow with you Just to hold you when your hair's undone just to hold you when your hair's undone. All right. You know, folks, I counted up, and I have had exactly 20 gigs this winter. I usually have that in three weeks, uh, in, a, in a normal winter uh, three-week period. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for every one of those. One of those happened to be the old band in the bubble thing that happened back in the, in the first of the year. And that was, that was a lot more uncomfortable 
than this beautiful place I'm in right now. Uh, it was it was sunny that day, and I started with a down coat on and a vest and all kinds of warm clothes, and I think I finished in a t-shirt and, and my jeans. That was that was that was way, the way it had to work. But uh, I mentioned that because the location of that gig was at the Mountain Lion Cafe. And Rob and Kaylee Lyons have done wonderful stuff. In fact, if you need to, to get a burrito in the next few days, go to the Mountain Lion. For the entire month, they are giving $1 for every burrito you eat at their restaurant uh, to Smurf. So it's, there you go. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But I've known Rob and Kaylee for a long, long time. They fed me lots of those breakfast burritos through the years, and I can testify that they're pretty darn tasty. All right? So go ahead and do that for you. You know, Smurf is, is really about, we're getting some wonderful business support, but it really is about musicians helping musicians. And, uh, you know, I was talking to Leon before the show, and just the, the work and the hours that he has put in as he makes his sound here today and, and contacting all the artists, even ne'er-do-wells like myself, uh, that are kind of slow to respond sometimes. Uh, he has been persistent and loving and just has, has done so much uh, for Smurf. And Leon, thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah. Steve Plummer was here keeping the door. Lisa's here. Lisa White is here. So we've got some, got some uh, Summit County musicians in the room, and I'm, I'm grateful to have you guys here. Thank you so much. But, uh, you know, we, we do the best we can, and uh, sometimes life throws us a curve, and, and we all respond together. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm, I'm just honored to be a part of these concerts and uh, what Smurf is, is all about. Uh, so I'm glad, grateful for you guys being here, too. All right. Thank you for, for showing up today. Now, let's see here. You know, I like story songs. You know, my whole thing is kind of painting a picture, if I can, with, with words around a campfire, whether that's a mountainside or, or just a good story about a, a fella's life. Uh, and I try to track down pretty darn good songwriters. I've been beating up Leon about stealing some of his stuff, some of his new stuff. He's been writing some, some killer material. But I'm a, I'm a, I don't have that yet, so I'm going to have to resort to, to, to go into a fellow named Guy Clark and sing you a Guy Clark song, you know, just a, another one of those ne'er-do-well songwriters. Uh, this song called The Cape. He's eight years old with a flyer set cape tied all around his neck. Climbed up on the garage, he's figuring what to heck. He screwed his courage up so tight that the whole thing come unwound. He took a run start and bless his heart, he headed for the ground. Well, he's one of those that knows that life is just a leap of faith. So spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. Well, he's all grown up with a flash set cape tied all around his dreams. He's full of piss and vinegar. He's busting at the seams. He licked his finger and checked the wind. It's gonna be do or die. He wasn't scared of nothing, boys. He was pretty sure he could fly. Well, he's one of those that knows that life is just a leap of faith. So spread your arms and hold your breath. Always trust your cave. Now he's old and gray with a flyer sack Cape tied all around his head He's still jumping off the garage He will be till he's dead All these years the people say He's acting like a kid He did not know he could not fly So he did well, he's one of those that knows that life is just a leap of faith. Spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. Yeah, spread your arms and hold your breath and always trust your cape. There we go. All right. Well, let's see here. 
Those of you who know me and have heard me sing for, for a long time know that I'm a huge fan of Mr. John Prine. And John was one of the first folks we lost. It's been almost a year ago now to COVID uh, when that first hit. So I want to sing you one of my favorite John Prine songs just because I don't know if I can pick up this guitar without singing some John Prine. I'm an old woman named after my mother. My old man is another child that's grown old. Where dreams were lightning, thunder were desire. This old house would have burned down a long time ago. Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Make me a poster. From an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to go When I was a young girl Well I had me a cowboy one was to look at just a free rambling man yeah but that was a long time and no matter how i tried the years that it rolled by like a broken down dam make me an angel that flies from montgomery make me a poster I'm an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to go There's flies in the kitchen I can hear them, they're buzzing I ain't done nothing since I woke up today How the hell can a person go to work in the morning Come home in the evening and have nothing to say Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery Make me a poster from an old road just give me one thing that I can hold on to To believe in this living is just a hard way to go To believe in this living is just a hard way to go You know, folks, I usually, at Keystone and around campfires at dude ranches all summer long, I'll be wearing cowboy boots and a hat, and I, I'm, I'm wearing my, my favorite bookstore's cap right now from the next page in Frisco. But, uh, you know, I, I just sing a little bit about those, you know, cowboy outlaws and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to sing you a good old, one of my favorite, uh, I guess you'd call this a murder ballad. There, there are folks that die in this tune. Uh, it's a song called The Bounty Hunters. What happens when one of those outlaws crosses paths with... Uh, well, somebody trying to collect a bounty. Good evening to you, mister, the bounty hunter said. You don't know me, but I know there's a price upon your head. I know you want it dead or alive, that's what the posters say. But I never shoot a man at night when he ain't had time to pray. So I'll give you until sunrise tomorrow, my friend Before I come to shoot you down and bring your body in I warn you that I do my work quite well with gun or knife I've tracked down many a man, I've taken many a life Father, do not mourn for me, mother, do not weep 
Whatever a man soweth, that also shall he I spent a long and sleepless night with fear upon my breast Trying to get ready for my morning duel of death I head up in a hayloft out on the edge of town And at sunrise that bounty hunter came to shoot me down I fired down at the bounty hunter standing in the street he raised his gun and fired a round of shots back up at me He hit my chest and shoulder and my gun flew from my hand Now I'm trapped up in this hayloft, a wounded unarmed man Father, do not mourn for me, mother, do not weep Whatever a man soweth, that also shall he reap The bounty hunter holds his fire and hollers up at me Come out and take it like a man, I'll make it quick and clean I know my time is running out and there's no way I can stall So I reach and grab the pitchfork that's hanging on the wall My body arches as I stretch and face the rising sun I feel like a warrior's bow that's freshly carved and strung I launch my body through the air, that pitchfork in my hand Step the bounty hunter through the chest and pin him to the sand Now my muscles start to rust, my thoughts are growing cold While Gabriel and Satan Shoe craps for my soul. Oh, that's so bad. Thanks, folks. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to sing you a song about a book. Yeah, I mean, my bookstore and my library ties in Summit County go pretty deep. Uh, this is a song about, uh, well, the song was actually picked up from a book that uh, Norman McLean wrote called Young Men in Fire. Is written by a Canadian fellow named James Keelahan about an a incident that happened back in 1949, the Man Gulch Fire uh, up in Montana. And it was one of the first major disasters that we had for fire jumpers uh, in this country. Fifteen men died uh, in this fire. And I sing it, uh, first of all, it's a, it's a wonderful story, but it also is uh, an important reminder, especially here in the high country where our fire People do so much for us. And after this last year, all the frontline medical workers and everybody else that has worked so hard to keep us all safe, uh, you know, they, they deserve a song tonight. So I'm going to sneak this song. It's called Cold Missouri Water. And, uh, yeah. Now, the, the, the setting of the song, I should probably explain. Uh, the fellow who uh, was in charge of the jump crew, his name was Wagner Dodge. And... Uh, there was a whole board of inquiry into the whole episode, and he was exonerated of any guilt or, or, or problems there. But you can imagine that kind of ate on him. And five years after the incident, he was laying in a hospital bed dying of Hodgkin's. And uh, so the, the setting of the song is kind of a deathbed interview. One more dang reporter was coming to ask him about this fire. And uh, this is the kind of the... the bedside conversation that they might have had. My name is Dodge, but then you know that. It's written on the chart there at the foot end of the bed They think I'm blind, I can't read it But I've read it every word and every word it says is death So confession, is that the reason that you came? Get it off my chest before I check out of the game Since you mention it, well there's 13 things I'll name Thirteen crosses high above the cold Missouri water August 49, North Montana 
It was the hottest day on record and the forest tender dry Lightning strikes in the mountains I was crew chief at the jump base I prepared the boys to fly Pick the drop zone C-47 comes in low Feel the tap Upon your leg that tells you go See the circle Of the fire down below Fifteen of us dropped above The cold Missouri water Gaze the fire I seem bigger So I ordered them to side heel We'd fight it from below We'd have our backs To the river We'd have it licked by morning Even if we took it slow But the fire crown Jumped the valley just ahead There was no way down Headed for the ridge instead Too big to fight it We'd have to fight that slope instead Death one step behind above the cold Missouri waters Sky had turned red, smoke was boiling Two hundred yards to safety, death was fifty yards behind I don't know why, I just thought it I struck a match to waste our grass Running out of time Tried to tell them Step into this fire I said We can't make it This is the only chance you'll get But they cursed me Ran for the rocks above instead Lay face down and prayed above Cold Missouri water When I rose like the phoenix and that world reduced to ashes there were none but two survived i stayed that night one day after carried bodies to the river wondered how i stayed alive 13 stations of the cross marked their fall i've had my say i'll confess to nothing more i'll join them now because they left me long before Thirteen crosses high above the cold Missouri water Thirteen crosses high above the cold Missouri shore Thank you. Oh, this next song is for all the pet owners out there and the folks who have loved their dogs and cats for their entire life. Are you pointing at each other up there? I think so. I think so. Uh, it's, it's not, well, it's, it's, it's a sad song, but it's a heartfelt, meaningful song. I'm going to sing you a song called He's a Good Dog, written by a Canadian named Fred Eaglesmith. And, uh, yeah, get your hankies ready if you, if you need one, Okay. We don't have any dogs at our house anymore. We had a Cocker Spaniel that my, my partner inherited. And he was, he, she got in on his uh, geriatric years. But now she says, I'm not adult enough to have a dog anymore, so we've got three cats at our house. And that seems to work out pretty good. Don't you think so? Here's a song about that dog, though. He's a good dog. I've had him for years He used to get up when I walked by Now he just lifts up his ears And he thumps his tail on the floor When I talk to him When I talk too long He just ignores me and he goes to sleep again He's a good dog Got him as a pup I tried to teach him all the tricks But then I just gave up Cause he never acted very bright But his eyes, they've got this glow And sometimes I think he knows some things That actually I don't And he never barks at strangers 
And he never barks at cars And he howls at the coyotes While they're howling at the stars And he scratches at the back door Till someone lets him in Then he scratches at the other side Cause he won't back out again He's a good dog But one of these days I'm gonna have to take him into town And have him put away Cause he don't hear that good no more And he can't hardly walk But until then I'll look at him and I'll say He's a good dog All righty. Well, we're going to leave, you know, old dogs and all that kind of stuff behind here, you know, because I, I have it on good report, folks, that we're going to get at least both weeks of summer this year. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. And, you know, I, I sing about summertime all year long because it's such a, a precious commodity. So I'm going to sing you a, a, a couple of songs. Here's another Guy, another guy Clark song uh, about one of my very, very favorite elements of summertime. I'm going to sing you a song called Homegrown Tomatoes. I can't grow them at my house at 11,300 feet in elevation, so I just get to sing about it. But it works out pretty good. Ain't nothing in the world that I like better Than bacon and lettuce and homegrown tomatoes Up in the morning out in the garden Get your ripe one, don't get a hard one Plant them in the spring, eat them in the summer All winter without them is a culinary bummer I forget all about sweating and digging Every time I go out and pick me a big one Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes What'll I be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things that money can't buy And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes mm -hmm. Now folks, I've got people in the room with me here Now when I sing this chorus There's a, a place for you to join in when I say homegrown tomatoes, I want you to echo that with me and say homegrown tomatoes. You can do this. Let's try that again. Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. What'll I be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things that money can't buy. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Remember, you've got your part to do. Well, you can go out to eat and that's for sure. But there's nothing that a homegrown tomato won't cure. Put them in a salad, put them in a stew You can make your very own tomato juice You can have them with eggs, you can eat them with gravy You can have them with beans, pinto and navy Put them on the side, put them in the middle Put a homegrown tomato on a hot cake griddle Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes What'll I be without homegrown tomatoes? Only two things that money can't buy And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes mm -hmm. Now if I had to change this life I lead Well I'd be Johnny Tomato Seed Cause I know what this country needs It's a homegrown tomato in every yard you see When I die don't bury me In a box in a cemetery Out in the garden would be so much better Than I could be pushing up homegrown tomatoes Homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes What'll I be without homegrown tomatoes Only two things that money can't buy and that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Mm -hmm. you, you did all right. Good. Thank you, folks. All right. Now, folks, this is the only show tune you're going to hear from me today. In fact, it's just about the only show tune you'll ever hear from me. Uh, but it's, it's from Porgy and Bess. Uh, a little, little summertime. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is so high. Your dad is rich and your mama's good looking. So hush 
little darling Honey, don't you cry One of these mornings You're gonna rise up singing Gonna spread out your wings And take to the sky Until that morning you can hush up your crying Your daddy and your mama are standing by Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping And the cotton is so your daddy's rich And your mama's good looking So hush little darling Honey, don't you cry So hush little darling Honey, don't you cry Oh, yes. I see you folks are missing summertime, too, aren't you? Hey, it's springtime. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. All right. Let's see here. Do, do, do. I'm having too much fun. I have no idea what time it is. Oh, my goodness. I guess I'm going to skip that one, and we'll go through some other songs here. You know, let's see here. You know, I get confused. I get call sometimes somebody actually let me back up someone has actually referred to me as being theologically confused they listen to the songs that i sing and and you know i sing songs like things like uh, bristlecone pine trees and across the great divide and and all kinds of uh, of songs like that I sing a song about heaven and it's not quite what most people think of when they think about heaven but uh that's, uh, this lady at a festival came to me and said, Randall, you sound like you're theologically confused. And, I, and what I tried to explain to her is that, you know, I, I, I'm not so sure about all the details, but I, I do totally embrace the fact that there's a lot more out there than, we, than this world that we live in right now. So I sing a song that kind of get at that just a little bit. And uh, one of my favorite songs is about a tree that grows here in Colorado. You'll find them up close to Timberline. Um, and they're all twisted and windblown, and, and you wonder how the heck they can even survive for just a few years up there. But scientists tell us that the bristlecone pine tree is about the oldest living thing on this good earth. Uh, they've been dated to be over 4,000 years old, so this song takes that notion and, and kind of runs with it. It's bristlecone pine. Up in the mountains on the high timber line There's a twisted old tree called the bristlecone pine The wind there is bitter, it cuts like a knife And it keeps that tree holding on for dear life But hold on it does, standing its ground Standing while empires rise and fall down When Jesus was gathering lambs to his fold The tree was already a thousand years old Now the way I have lived there ain't no way to tell when we die, if we're going to heaven or hell So when I'm laid to rest, it would suit me just fine To sleep at the feet of a bristlecone pine And as I would slowly return to this earth What little this body of mine might be would soon start to nourish the roots of that tree And it 
would partake of the essence of me. And who knows but that as the centuries turn, a small spark of me might continue to burn. As long as the sun did continue to shine Down on the limbs of that bristlecone pine Now the way I have lived there ain't no way to tell When I die if I'm going to heaven or hell So when I'm laid to rest it would suit me just fine At the feet of a bristle cone pine Way up in the mountains on the high timber line There's a twisted old tree called the bristle cone pine When Jesus was gathering lambs to his fold The tree was already a thousand years Now the way I have lived, there ain't no way to tell When I die if I'm going to heaven or hell So when I'm laid to rest, it would suit me just fine To sleep at the feet of a bristlecone pine So I'd just as soon spend eternity's time Sleep at the feet of a bristlecone pine. Sleep at the feet of a bristlecone pine. All right. Thanks, folks. All right. You know, I'm sorry, I've got another hour's worth of songs to sing, Leon. Well, I've got. A decision to make. It's not not really a hard decision. Anybody that wants to hear me play a wonderful Grateful Dead song called Ripple can tune in to me on my Facebook live show on Wednesday nights. And I will end every show with Ripple. And Lisa, I was planning on heading that way today, but instead I'm going to sing another literary song. I'm going to sing you a song that if you if you look at it really close, you'll, you'll actually find the story of this song in I think chapter 15 of Steinbeck's The, the Grapes of Wrath. You know, that was that uh, Dust Bowl tale about, you know, people from Oklahoma and Arkansas and places like that traveling to California to that, just to get out of the, the nastiness that was uh, hitting the middle of our country with the Dust Bowl. And the Depression was also a, a part of that. Uh, but, you know, even in those bad times and even in times like we've just lived through this last year, I, I still believe with all of my heart in the, in the eternal goodness of people. And uh, this is a song about... Uh, Oh, kids and a waitress and a couple of truck drivers and all that stuff. It's called Here Comes That Rainbow Again. And, you know, I, I, I believe, as I said, you know, with, with everything I am, that that, that rainbow is going to come. Cat, my, my partner calls me Pollyanna most of the time. And she, I, I sound like a happy statement. And she says, oh, that sounds like Polly talking. Uh, well, I am, and that's okay. I'm going to stay that way. Uh, it's a good thing. Let's see here. There you go. Here comes that rainbow again. It was recorded, probably the most popular version was by Chris Christopherson a long, long time ago. The scene was a small roadside cafe. The waitress was sweeping the floor. Two truck drivers drinking their coffee. And two old kid kids by the door. How much are them candies, they asked her. How much have you got, she replied. Well, we've only a penny between us. Well, them's too for a penny, she lied. And the daylight grew heavy with thunder. And the smell of the rain on the wind. Ain't it just like a human? Here comes that rainbow again Them truck drivers called to the waitress 
after the kids went outside You know them candies ain't two for a penny Well, what's it to you, she replied In silence they finished their coffee Got up and nodded goodbye She called, hey, you left too much money So what's it to you, they replied and the daylight grew heavy with thunder And the smell of the rain on the wind Ain't it just like a human Here comes that rainbow again And the daylight grew heavy with thunder And the smell of the rain on the wind Ain't it just like a human comes that rainbow again Here comes that rainbow again All right. <laughs> Folks, thanks so much for being here today and this will be on the, the uh, Smurf YouTube channel eventually uh, but uh, so you have a chance to relive this this wonderful afternoon so uh, thanks for being here all of you folks in the in the in the seats out here. Leon, thank you. Tom, thank you for being here for photos. Dustin, appreciate you, man. Uh, you know, Smurf is about that kind of goodness in people that I was just singing about. So glad to be a part of it. Thank you all, folks. Good night. like sisters and brothers when hard times try to get us down we stand together up on higher ground homegrown colorado up here we take care of our own homegrown summit stand alone we're homegrown Some